It's okay, so I've got a concealer video for you today. Um, this is not a coverage concealer though, so I'm gonna use it on top of foundation. I've got foundation on my face right now, so it's taking down a lot of what I would need to cover anyway. But since this is not a coverage concealer, it is a brightening concealer, um, I didn't think it was really that fair to kind of judge it against um, for, for some to cover. So we're just gonna see if this does what it says, which is brighten. I have it in the shade medium. This is the CYO highlighting concealer. Now. I have been clicking this for like five minutes to try and get the stuff, the concealer to come up through the end of the brush and the clicker is really hard to, to manage. Um, you don't know if it's working and then finally in the end it finally came out but oh, that, that's kind of annoying about the packaging. Don't like the packaging at all. So we'll see if the product's any good. It looks pretty creamy. Um, so I'm going to wipe some of that off and just kind of load the brush a little bit from that just so that's not a big glob. This is the shade medium which I think is a it looks dark in the viewfinder, but it's not really that dark. This is actually probably a really good shade for me for what I would look for as almost like a camouflaging concealer. I'm just going to put it on. And I think I'm going to use my, if I have it, this. Um, this is the Morphe M536 brush. A little bit of a fuzz on there. Okay, so yeah, I feel like there's a lot of light reflecting off of this concealer. It could it could be the foundation. My foundation is pretty moderately glowy today. All right, let me grab a close-up look. Where'd my mirror go? Here it is. All right, let me give you guys a close-up look. Um, it's not that glowy, really. I don't know. Yeah, I'm dropping everything today. I don't see much difference, actually. Let's try the other side. I don't really see it doing much at all. It doesn't look like it's adding a lot of glow or brightness or anything, really. By the way, I apologize if you can hear cars driving by and stuff. I just got really hot a minute ago, so I'd open my windows. Okay, I, I don't know. It, it just seems like it's not really doing very much. I don't know. I don't think this is really doing very much. So, um, as a first impression, me. Eh. Um... I will wear it for a couple other times and I'll also try it on with um, no foundation on and see if there's really any difference at all. I mean, it, it, there probably will be a slight difference, but as of right now, I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase this at all. Um, again, this is the CYO Highlighting Concealer Brush with Brilliance Concealer. It was about $6 from the um, Walgreens website. So um, on the whole, let me just see if I, I've got, a, I don't know if you can see, I've got a couple spots coming up right there. Let's just see if it'll cover those. And, uh, just as a test. Now, you know, obviously you probably wouldn't want to use a brightening slash light reflective concealer on spots that you have because, and when I say spots, I mean acne, but it's not really covering anyway. So, um, because it's just going to end up, sorry for the light, someone just pulled up right next to me and uh, the um, reflection is going crazy. So anyway, you wouldn't want to use a light reflective concealer on any spots that you have because it's just going to highlight them. So that's probably not what you're looking for. You're wanting to cover them up, not highlight them. All right, so anyway, I will wear this for the rest of the day. I will update my thoughts in the description below. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.